Hi there, and thank you for tuning in to the latest Hurricane Tracker app video update recorded Tuesday, June 3rd, around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Well, this afternoon, Tropical Depression 2 was upgraded to Tropical Storm Boris here uh, off of the Mexican coastline. The storm is moving very slowly off to the north at about 5 miles per hour, and by tomorrow morning, the National Hurricane Center anticipates Boris will make landfall. And due to the slow movement, uh, areas here in southeastern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and the Yucatan Peninsula can expect 10 to 20 inches of rainfall, and that could lead to some mudslides and some local issues. So uh, with Boris, the main threat is going to be heavy rainfall, but we do have a tropical storm warning in effect for tropical storm force winds up to 40 miles per hour. Now, if you look closely at the cone of uncertainty, you can see that later in the week, it does extend into the southern Bay of Campeche. Down here in this region of the Atlantic Basin, the uh, water temperatures in the, are in the low 80s, so it is plenty warm uh, for something tropical to try to develop if enough energy from the remnants of Boris can make its way north into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. And we'll talk more about that here in just a moment. Here's the latest satellite loop of uh, Tropical Storm Boris. You can see it is a relatively small storm, slightly disorganized, but you can definitely see the circulation here south of Mexico. And again, it's just going to continue to funnel heavy rains up on the eastern side of the storm uh, here up towards the Yucatan Peninsula. And if you look very closely, it's hard to tell on the infrared uh, sat satellite, but there is a slight swirl. Uh, down here in the uh, southern Bay of Campeche and some associated convection. So this is a uh, trough of low pressure here that is set up across the Gulf of Mexico. And right now, wind shear values are really high. And let me show you that. Uh, here's the Yuc For reference, here's the Yucatan Peninsula. And here's Texas up here. And you can see the light to orange colors indicate light to moderate wind shear here over the southern Gulf of Mexico. So right now, during the next day or so, conditions are not very favorable for development, but they may become a little more favorable as we get into the latter portions of the week. The reason for that is, is uh, the weather feature that's causing the winch here is an upper level low, and I'll draw it out here for you. It's spinning over uh, the eastern coast of Mexico and South Texas. You can see the uh, spin here, and that is backing off towards the west, so it's getting out of the picture. But ahead of this upper level low, it's creating uh, southwest to northeast winds aloft. So that is creating an environment right now that is not favorable. But the further away this upper level low moves and the more remnants that can move north uh, from Tropical Storm Boris only enhances the potential for development later, uh, as mainly as we get into Thursday, it looks to be the, uh, the time period at this point uh, when there's the best chance of something developing. The National Hurricane Center is advising that through the next 48 hours, there's a 10% chance of development and then up to a 20% chance of development through the next five days. And of course, they're mentioning uh, that right now, upper level winds are not favorable for uh, further intensification of any low pressure down there, but that they could become a little more favorable. And of course, we'll continue to keep a close eye on that. Based on all the latest data, here's the latest hurricane tracker outlook. Uh, we believe there's about a 25% chance of development, so we're very close to the National Hurricane Center. And of course, you can see on our outlook, uh, we show Tropical Storm Boris moving north with some of this energy transferring down into the southern Bay of Campeche. Uh, again, 10 to 20 inches of rain east of the storm, and then strong southwesterly upper level wind shear. And again, this is going to drive some rain here in the portions of southern Florida. It's not going to be a total washout by any means. Then up here along the northern Gulf Coast into Texas, we expect mainly dry conditions this week. So one of the major questions is, is if something does develop, where would it go? Well, right now it's way too early uh, in the game to really uh, tell with any certainty where a system would go. This is the latest run from this afternoon of the GFS model. It's been the most accurate over the last couple of days. It's been showing development of a tropical depression just about every run now. I'm going to put this into motion. You can see we have Tropical Storm Boris down here. and You can see how that eventually dissipates into just a, uh, a broad area of low pressure over uh, southeastern Mexico. Then watch as we, this is for Wednesday, watch as we move into Thursday. You can see an area of low pressure begin to form here in the uh, southern Bay of Campeche. 
and uh, we do have another reliable model the UK met model uh, as of this afternoon is also showing development the euro model continues to show just a broad area of low pressure but what's more importantly I'm going to put this in a run over the next few days again this is Thursday you can see the day up here I'm just going to put this into motion and it just kind of sits there uh, based on the GFS forecast and not really move anywhere because steering currents are so weak now later in the forecast the uh, GFS model shows the uh, storm moving off towards the northeast but again that is a week away from today and outside of three to four days you really can't pay much attention to the computer models but uh, definitely we're going to be looking closely for the potential of development here as we get into Wednesday Thursday Friday the National Hurricane Center has scheduled a hurricane hunter uh, to go down to the Bay of Campeche on Thursday to investigate the area uh, in case something does try to develop. Thank you so much for using the Hurricane Tracker app and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great evening.